Hey, Great Scott Moments, and today we're going to cover the basic needs of a man and a woman. And of course, today is man's basic needs. And big letters is the word sex. So what is the number one need of a man? Sex. Is that a surprise to anyone? So, you know, let's say there's, you know, the divorce rate right now is somewhere between 72 and 78 percent. So a lot of that is finances, is a huge part. And what does finances create? A lack of intimacy between the two spouses. And if there's a lack of intimacy, what's usually the first thing to go? Sex. And if there's a lack of intimacy, and sex is the first thing to go, what just happened to man's most number one basic need to be able to fulfill himself and be able to go out into the world and conquer and, and overcome obstacles? It's just been killed. It's just been deprived. Suddenly it's gone. And now that man has to go out there and on his own, without you know full strength, go out there and conquer the world. Or else things are not going to get any better. And most likely, things are not getting any better. Um, number one, number two need, a recreational companionship. Like if he's going to go fishing, he doesn't want to go alone. He wants to have a fishing buddy. If he wants to go to the sports bar or do a game or something, you know, have a buddy. And that can be his spouse. If she can be into it, that's the best part, partner he can have. So as you look through here, what's, what's the third? an attractive spouse. Someone who's putting on... Um, beauty is not just skin deep. So if you can be beautiful on the inside and show some love, show, show people, your man, how beautiful and how wonderful he is from your inside out, you know what? You are going to be an attractive spouse people are going to recognize that, okay? And yes, um, there is an element where skin deep beauty is very attractive on its own. And of course, yes, sometimes a woman, an attractive woman, will open her mouth and just blow it all away. Uh, that's a whole other story though. Um, and we can go on the other tangent where, you know, a lot of men have been going out and trying to take care of a lot of these needs through pornography or some similar aspect where a, a fantasy or a piece of paper is trying to fill these needs and it can't. And it's destroying relationships all over the world. And it's destroying our capacity to be able to, to live in relationships. Just a little side note, sorry. So number three, domestic support. So for, for parents, if you have a son, you need to support them in encouraging them, telling, lifting them up, encouraging, saying, hey, yes, you can do it. You can, you know, no negative thinking. Think positive. You can do it. You can go out there and change the world. You can go out there and win at sports. You can be a champion. And you'll always be a champion no matter what happens. Even if you fail the next 50 times, we know you can do it. Okay? And that goes double if you're the spouse. And you're trying to be the domestic support. Because, you know what? Life is not easy. It's not easy for any of us. It's not easy for the woman. It's not easy for the men. We're cursed. The whole planet is cursed. You know? But what happens is... If a man doesn't get some support from his wife, where is he going to get the support? Unfortunately, it might be a piece of paper or a video or someone else. And that's sad. That's not the way it was intended. And then third one or fifth one is admiration. Someone to say, I think you're wonderful just for who you are. Just for, for who you are being. Because I see your heart. And you might be trying for certain things, but if they can't admire you for who you are, 
they won't admire you no matter the things that you've accomplished. They want admiration for who they are, for their abilities, for their capacities. And you notice, for all five of these, all of man's domestic or basic human needs are all relational and they all could be provided by one spouse. And I find that very funny that, that when Adam was created, that all that he needed to be perfectly at well with the world and the universe and with God is Eve. She completed him because she could meet all of his needs. And that's a wonderful thing. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll talk to you later.